Listen to all the good stuff. Escape reality. Indulge in the drama. Follow every... There we go. Bom dia. Bom dia. Bom dia. Bom dia. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> oh, my cat's saying good morning too. Hey, look at the cat. You ready to start? <laughs> um, so, guys, this does, normally doesn't happen. So, normally I stream one Saturday in English, one Saturday in Portuguese. But I am not sure which language I'm supposed to stream in today. <laughs> Let's find out. I thought it was Portuguese, but then I saw that the title was in English. Maybe... I got my calendar wrong. Give me one second. Meanwhile, let me know how you're doing today. How are you today? I literally... I'm not even on the calendar. <laughs> I don't see myself on the calendar anymore. Okay. We're just gonna call this one a 50-50 stream. Okay. I think that's a nice compromise. I just updated the title too. <laughs> <laughs> do that i don't know I will, we're just gonna do our best okay so uh back on topic let me share my screen differently with you guys so that we can talk about what we're doing next so before i get into anything else we're going to be doing a specific kind of monster today called the gugway i think that's how it's called So it's a ape-like creature that eats people's faces off, <laughs> supposedly. Uh, what wisdom do I have for you today? Why don't we start a conversation and we see where it takes us? Wow, this is kind of neat, like a baboon ape. Oh my god, yes. Literally, like, this is what I think Gorgonox might, might have looked like. I think I read somewhere that they didn't have scales or leathery skin, they had fur. And everybody just keeps making them furry, you know? Or, I mean, scaly. Alright, I think I'm good. On the reference for now, the, the more reference I get normally, like, I can sometimes stifle my own creativity, so... I like to limit the options. 
whenever that big notification pops up the pixel logic is live i just run to my computer like a maniac <laughs> did i already say hi odon i saw you in here i love this monster just look at the expression on its face how long are you going to be sculpting for two to three hours drag and drop okay so the software i use is called pure ref for reference p-u-r-e-r-e-f and um it's just so freaking convenient it's a perfect match for zbrush so please uh consider using it it's free you can leave them a donation what's the sculpt today it's a gugway i think that's how you're supposed to say it i'm gonna find out so why we start with a little bit of um uh, symmetry and a little bit of uh, block outs with the snake hook. <laughs> the snake hook, you know. You gotta do that every time, otherwise your sculpt will turn out bad. <laughs> just kidding. Um, that was just me trying to remember the name of the brush, but I knew it started with an S and just worked out. Um, we, I can introduce myself. For those of you who have not been here with me before. So my name is Anna Carolina. I've been streaming with Pixelogic for, I think, four years. Um, but I'm really bad with dates, and I don't remember anything that's ever happened in the past four years. So I've um, been streaming with them for a while now, streaming, streaming ZBrush. Um, I am a tech artist by trade, character artist on the side. Uh, I do education, I am a college professor, and and freelancer, and business owner. Um, and I come from a very unique background of, of doing all the things. And I'm from Brazil, from Rio specifically. Live in the United States now. Adrian, nice to see you too. They vary, some are considered semi aquatic, so depending on the environment, people describe them as scaly or for a creature. See, and she has some concepts for my TikTok. What are you doing? Um, making a creature called the Gugway. Tempter, nice to meet you too. Would it be okay if we try to sculpt along? I would actually be extremely honored and happy if you sculpted it along and then after you shared it with me on social media so I could share it with people. I'd be like, look how cool this is. Primeira vez aqui, antes para ver o processo. What are you sculpting today? It's the, a beast called the Gugway. Que os jogos começam? So, I've kind of got like a relatively generic head base <laughs> going. I'm going to add a new sphere for the traps and shoulders. I just think it's going to be a little bit more practical. I keep I keep using the old snake hook. Um, method to get it, like the shortcut. I need to update my shortcuts. We're just going to do a bust.
Tá com cara de ser um busto de super-herói. É, eu vou botar meu chutômetro aqui. <risos> Talvez o oposto de super-herói. My smoothing is too high, so I'm going to hold down space and shift and turn it down. Essa me deixa bem animada de manhã, assim. Acabei de acordar, literalmente. Acordei, passei maquiagem, vim pra casa. <risos> Estou bem, ainda tudo bem. Um second, I need to fix. Can you please change the ZBrush layout so I can see which brush you're using? Well, you can see the brush I'm using right here, but I'll just add the brush tool palette. Does that help? And then here you can see the tool. So you can see I'm using Move Brush. There. Maybe the little zebrush life thing was on top, was that the problem? You have the latest version of zebrush, have you had any issues with the gizmo? I read some people got crashes from that. Um, I have not had those issues, but there is a fix for that. Let me get that for you. Um, apparently it's gizmo large icons, so if you go to preferences and turn off large icons, it won't crash. Hi, Hafael. I'm gonna use a little clay buildup to start kind of blocking in some... Landmarks and things like that. Luchador. <laughs> Go ahead and merge. They can sculpt them both at the same time. How's everybody doing today, by the way? I guess working on anything cool? What are you working on? How to make lips? Oh, I don't know if I can answer that question right now. I mean, I'll be doing lips soon, though. So if you stick around, um, we, can, we can we can talk about lips. Tipo, tem dificuldade para entender é, quando precisa subir a resolução? Existe alguma regra? 
Sim, assim, sim e não, né? Regra não, não existe, mas você pode criar suas próprias regras ou, alguém, ou pode usar a regra de alguém. No meu caso, sim, eu tenho uma regra que eu dou para meus alunos. Que é, nunca... Dá para ver meu gato morrendo aqui? É, num, nunca suba antes de você conseguir extrair todo o detalhe, toda a forma 3D da subdivisão mais baixa. Então, quando você conseguir extrair o máximo possível, não tem mais nada que você possa colocar, aí você sobe. Isso tipo, um, vai dar um resultado muito limpinho e, e sem é, muitos problemas pra você, é muito bom. Até com aqui, ó, esse baixo poli aqui já dá pra dar uma... Dá pra dar uma... Focada, sabe? Um... Eu não estou tentando extrair o máximo possível que eu consigo antes de ir para cima. today Tim I'm good how are you o que acha da ideia de criar uma enquete com três opções de concepts uma de criatura dois de animal três de um personagem de quadrinho seria legal imagina <risos> para para esse para esse monstro aqui How to make high poly model and low poly in ZBrush because my laptop is getting... So I was supposed to release a tutorial about that last week and I had some issues with my files and I wasn't able to. Uh, I think that at, towards the end of this process I'm going to show you how to go from um, high poly to low poly in ZBrush so stay tuned and when we get there we'll talk about it in detail. Does that sound good? I'm gonna take the I am in primitives year thirty two. You have a camera shot of your camp work in area? Not yet. Um, Car, my stream is called in English and Portuguese, so don't be impatient. Impatient. Are you using tablet or your mouse? I'm using a tablet. What concept are you working in? I'm making up my own concept, but it's called a Gugway. It's a kind of uh, cryptid monster. Gugway. G-U-G-W-E.
Acho humildemente que a galera iria se engajar com o seu trabalho mais ainda e de quebra iria gerar mais expectativa. São mais, são mais, as pessoas são movidas por algo inovador e adoram surpresas. Se eu tivesse tido essa ideia antes de começar, até faria, mas agora já tá. Does this sound, music sound like um, The Sims to anybody? Build a house. No? How much Dynamesh resolution? I'm not using Dynamesh yet. I'm just using the uh, default spheres. So I will use Dynamesh in a little bit though, and I'm gonna keep it pretty low, like at 44 or something. Yeah, if you look closely at the polyframe, you just see I just smashed some, some spheres together. Looks like a bodyguard. Don't come backstage. Or <laughs> that's my impression of a bodyguard. Do I open the mouth now or do I wait? Hmm. I think I'm gonna wait a little bit. These spotlight or only pure ref? Only pure ref. Andrew, Batahaji. Wait just a bit. Okay, perfect. Oh, done. I will do that exactly as you requested. Can you pick quads or tries? If I had to pick, I'd pick quads. Okay. Okay, what's next? I really like the mouth like this, like I kind of don't want to open it. It's... Is sculpting in Portuguese more difficult than in English? <laughs> I think the hardest is switching between the two. Okay, now I'm gonna die mesh. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> Good evening. How, from how many you using ZBrush? How many years does it take to get pro? <sighs> I was able to start working 
for money, which I which is what I consider pro to be. <laughs> um, at around six months of, of learning sculpting and ZBrush and stuff, I learned both at the same time. But um, I can't say that for everyone, right? There's so many factors that go into how long it takes you to go pro. Like, before you start ZBrush, do you have any other art experience? Were you drawing your whole life or not? Um, how much do you have to learn? How many hours in the day do you have to spend learning, right? Are you good at learning new software or not so good and you kind of struggle a little bit? Like, each person's going to have a diff totally different timeline, which is why I, I try not to come up with, like, timelines with, like, how long it takes to make a character, how long it takes to um, get a job, things like that, because it really depends on literally everything. Finally, a Zebra stream and printed 3D models. I need to learn how to sculpt. Well, you're going to be very happy to hear this next news then because I actually have an independent stream every Sunday and I took six months off and I relaunched tomorrow. So guys, mark your calendars tomorrow at 5 p.m. Central. I will be streaming on my personal Twitch channel. So let me get you the link. I know where stuff is open. Let me get there. I'm about to throw in a thousand links, so. You might think I would use my link tree for this. You'd be wrong. Stomach doesn't feel so good this morning. Renato, olá, tudo bem? Eu estou bem. Some people only have a traditional sculpting background, and making that transition to software can be daunting at first. You think tutorial about high poly models to low poly, of course. Yeah, have to fix this area up in a bit. Not loving it. Olhos longe ou olhos perto? We make it the inside of the mouth, so I'm still trying to decide because I was going to, but I kind of like the way the mouth looks now, so I'm not sure if I want to open it or not. I've merged this year, but still have a joint. What should I do? Um, make sure to dynamesh. And it, and then smooth the the joints. See if that works. Any tips and tricks and shortcuts so it's helpful for me to use ZBrush? Uh, make sure to quick save a lot. Uh, make sure to always be rotating your piece, otherwise it'll look really flat and weird. And yeah. Can I use ZBrush blend shapes in Maya rigging? Yeah, actually, there i I've made a tutorial for this. Um, with NVIDIA, if you like Google like NVIDIA morph targets or something like that, you'll find a tutorial and I did them in ZBrush to Maya to Unreal, it's really nice.
H polish for the enigmatic. Literally my favorite thing. Thank you, John Tom. Tem personagem da The Seek Young Gorilla, daria um concept top demais. Uh -huh. uh, Zebrush does have your topology if you use Z modeler. Or, uh, yeah, Z modeler. Are you always sculpting this perspective turned off? I kind of turn it off on and off depending on what I'm doing. Blender has two. Alright, I can't bring it. Confused. Good morning, GSP. X. Gotta do some fixing around here too. And stuff's not looking quite right. <laughs> okay, still in the ugly phase. Go up a little bit resolution. Yeah, the silhouette on the top left, I think it just helps you look at the literally the silhouettes, right? Kind of see the overall shape if it's successful or not. It's not Godzilla. I think that's where the eye is going to go. Just tiny, tiny little eyes. I'm gonna separate with separar os dois e no sub tool let's unmask one. We set the offset to a chiseled brush strokes with hands. I have no idea what that means. I'm sorry. Chiseled strokes with hands. Um, 
frankly, I think smartest, S M E E R D I S T, um, makes some good how to have clean topology and ZBrush stuff. He also streams for this channel. A little bit of move where I should start doing everything a little bit of air form. É, pode perguntar, Renato. little froggy face. I like it. It's cute. A little froggy. Eu recebi uma proposta de trabalho que precisaria para Miami? Que bom, parabéns. Mas ainda me sinto um pouco inseguro em relação ao nível do meu trabalho, mesmo já trabalhando com filas quase um ano e por não falar inglês também. A parte do inglês, sim, eu sentiria insegurança, mas confia nas pessoas que te ofereceram emprego. Tipo, obviamente elas acham que você é bom bastante para fazer. Então você não vai se auto-rejeitar, né? Se você não for por causa do seu medo da sua execução e tal, tipo, isso seria uma perda de uma oportunidade gigante. E <coughs> isso não seria bom, né? Confia nelas. Se você não conseguir confiar em si mesmo, confia nelas. Elas acham que você é bom bastante. Elas estão erradas? Provavelmente não, né? Mesmo se estivessem, é uma ótima oportunidade pra aprender. <risos> Né? Which software is best for sculpting? I, I don't want to sound biased, but it's definitely ZBrush. Oh, 
How much practice sculpts did it take you to in ZBrush before you made something that you're truly happy with when you first began? If I'm gonna be like honest, you know, there's such a thing as the artistic eye and artistic ability, and they don't grow at the same rates. So whenever I was starting, I made a really subpar sculpt, and I thought it was perfect, and I thought it was the best sculptor in the world. So it took me like two weeks to make something good, and now looking back, I know it's not so good, you know? Mas na oportunidade que principalmente eu conseguiria tão cedo, claro que existem muitas variáveis, mas eu sou a visão que se faria, aceitaria, óbvio, óbvio que sim. Se mudar, ter forçado a aprender inglês, ganhar em dólar, Miami é bom. <risos> é... E a oportunidade de colocar um colégio no, no seu currículo, já vale. My term last doesn't work in imported objects sometimes. I, I'm not sure, Tatoon. I've never had that experience. Thank you, Mohammed. Or it's gonna be here anyway. I, I don't know why I keep worrying about it. You know. I just want a little cute little scowl, you know, like he's a big masculine creature that will eat your bones, but he's got a cute little pout. And that's what's gonna bring me happiness today on this Saturday. <laughs> See what a baboon nose looks like. I think I want to go with a baboon, baboonish nose. Let's Google that real fast. What does a baboon look like? Alexa. Oh yeah, that doesn't work at all with what I've done. <laughs> okay, let's not. Oh my god, the song has phone ringing and it's my anxiety will go through the roof in five, four, three. You want, where's the song? Where is it coming out of? There it is. We're gonna skip the song. Oop. You could do a... Probos probosis money monkey? Proboscis monkey? <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Yes or no? Do we keep the noggin? I'm gonna let you guys decide. What do companies look in sculpts? What should you be good at to increase your chances to be accepted? Where multiple companies would be interested, maybe advertising, game, movie, cartoon, etc. So I would say that maybe uh, consider being more than just a sculptor, like be a character artist, you know, like learn how to do proper retopology, learn how to do texturing, materials, things like that. Hair, hair, accessories, shoes, clothes, um, great anatomy. Know how to do appeal for your characters, you know, like, um, know how to navigate the uncanny valley to a degree. Those are all important things. A lot of people just try to get away with it, like, with just being a sculptor. And while that can be a career, it's also highly competitive and a little bit less sought after, I believe. Struggling with curly hair. <laughs> um, I recommend making, like, an insert curve brush. One of the best advice I've gotten as a beginner was from Neville Page. He described using brushes in an art store and said to start small with pencil and paper and from there. 
No big nose. That nose makes me interesting, perfect, flatter. Maybe replace the nose. What are you using for your live stream video in video? Um, I'm, I'm using Streamlabs OBS and all the default stuff they have there. The nose makes him look more friendly. Mistake him for the trope. Okay, let's see. Let's see. What if I give it some gravity? <laughs> okay, I know you guys don't like it. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this for future because I'm really, I'm really thinking this is funny and like awesome for a future character. And to be honest, it doesn't match the the description of the Gugwe. Like none of these pictures have a big nose, so that's probably oh the main reason I would even avoid it in the first place. Um. But, you know, I, I do love it. I think it's it's like some next level cuteness, and I guess maybe that's part of the problem. Okay, what else can we do with the nose? Like, this looks too much like the other characters I've already made, so it's kind of cookie cutter. What if we do him, like, undead? Undead. I, I should probably read what the Gugway is. Let's all... I'm gonna... Let's all take an intermission to read the Gugway... Wikipedia. Okay. The Gugwe is a Bigfoot creature that is said to have a canine like snout. Gugwe reports have been around since the 1900s. Aggressive, which is strange for a primate, let alone an undiscovered one, leading some to, be, to believe it may be a misidentified werewolf like creature. Some say it's a dog man or well werewolf. A sagittal crest is a crest in the skull of some apes, notably the gorillas, which gives them an elongated head. The straight is seen in other animals, including bears and canines. But if the photo's real, it may be a sasquatch. Okay. So how about we do a couple of little edits to give it a more canine-like snout. We can, we can pull this off, guys. At the very least, we can lengthen the face, which I think will be nice anyway. I'm gonna keep the nose up here, though. Maybe some pointy wolf ears. No, that just makes it look like a like an orc. Again. You're cracking me up with the big nose. <laughs> Seems like there's a different amount of polys in the nose, and character isn't that problematic. I'm asking because I want to learn. It's very problematic. Um, no, just kidding. Like it happens whenever you you stretch stuff, you you stretch out the polygons too, which is why when we're blocking things out, we use Dynamesh or Sculptures Pro, which kind of makes the problem go away. Normally it would be a problem, but since we have tools to deal with it, it's not a real problem. <sighs> Somewhere between a gorilla and a wolf. Definitely go with dog snout. <sighs> That's the wrong pressure. I 
Remember, remember that one creature I did last week that I took a screenshot and it kind of like had a really cool snout. And then I took the snout off and I said, I'm going to save this for the future. <laughs> Quote, things I say every freaking day. I'm going to save this one for the future. Let me go find it. Let's see, recent notes. Make it work. See, see, this is why you do your research before you start your piece. Normally I read what the creature is supposed to be beforehand, but this time I forgot. Um, and see, we're wasting time now. <laughs> really, we wasted time earlier now. We're... <laughs> what does he look like? It looks like something from a movie. Okay, I can live with this. I'm not upset. <laughs> I often ask myself, am I upset with this? If not, then I can live with it. I like the, kind of like the flatness here. I've got baboon kind of situation. Making him look pouty again. Okay. I think we were able to recover from my mistakes pretty fast, which is good. Good day. <laughs> Longer snaps. Então parte Miami. Você vai agradecer por isso. Olha, mesmo que seja difícil, e vai ser, eu, eu aprendi inglês na, na, na marra e na dificuldade, sabe? Eu também aprendi inglês me mudando e, e é muito duro. Você vai descobrir que é, é duro, mas vai te forçar a aprender. Mas se fosse você, eu faria um intensivo antes de ir. E só assistir filme em inglês, live em inglês, ler livro em inglês, tudo em inglês a partir de agora pra facilitar. That goddamn intern story, the file stops playing just as you get the feedback and I'm dying to know what happened. Huh? Did I? What's the intern story? Remind me what I was talking about. So was I talking about an intern? <laughs> Mind empty. <laughs> I have so many intern stories though, so we can always improvise. You know of this monkey known as the ma mandrill? Yes. I love the Mandarin. Oh, thank you, Joseph. Qual é boa de hoje? É, se chama Gugway. É um monstro terrível.
I get told that my all my art is extremely feminine unless I do it hyper masculine and there's no in between. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but it's certainly true tonight. Today, actually, only at eleven in the morning, so today. Looks, he just looks concerned, kind of like you kind of offended his entire people, peoples. Lost a little bit of the cute frown though, I'm trying to get it back. <sighs> Areas of futures fasting in its territory. Mm hmm. You will see. E que eu também fico quando eu escrevo mexendo na cabeça luxando com modelo. É muito. Quando eu faço. É... Quando eu boto o vídeo rápido, eu fico tipo. Obrigada, <risos> Zumba. You made a satellite model that apparently was awful. Well, ok, so are we talking about something I talked about last week? Last week or. Two years ago, or something like that. Like I've told that story before. Um... Tell the whole story again. The story from my internship. I will tell that. I will tell that. Um, let me see if there's anything else I can talk about. Let me 
The shorter set was terrible. In the recent past. Jump with a little yeah, mm-hmm. No sei o canal pessoal, você entretém de fazer portfolio review? Sim. I'm gonna share my links with you guys because tomorrow I am actually starting my personal Twitch channel back up. On there, I'm going to be giving away a lot of stuff and I'm going to be doing portfolio reviews and other ZBrush streams and things like that. So go join my, my personal Twitch channel. It's The link is in chat. Go follow that because tomorrow we are starting back up. And guys, my new overlay is so cute. It's so beautiful. I made it last night at 3 a.m. It was great. Let's see what else. Um, so I'm partnering with Wacom and we're going to be giving away basically like three Wacom tablets every month on that channel for the next six months or something like that. It's, the details are still being ironed out, but it's going to be super cool and you guys don't want to miss that. I'm also going to be giving away workshop, free workshops. So, um, uh, what else? I run workshops every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Central Time, where we all kind of every month start a project from begin from like scratch, and we get it all the way to a render state, basically portfolio ready. If you would like to join the workshop, I put the link in chat just now. And if you'd like one-on-one -on -one time with me, one-on-one -on -one mentorship, so that I can help you find your strengths, weaknesses, you can establish some goals. Uh, we talk about what you need in your portfolio, where where your arts needs to be improved. We talk about like resumes and reputations and marketing and all this other stuff. Whatever you need basically to make your goals come true. If you would like to join that, please do so. The link is also in chat for that. Um, you brought away from Cintiq 16. Is it good for 3 sculpt? Yeah, it's good. Fernando, hey, I went to you. So, um, yeah, sorry, you kind of gave me a little whiplash with the internship story thing. Uh, so, but per, per request, I will go ahead and tell it. So, when I was in college, I got hooked up with an internship for NASA, the people who make spaceships. It was really nice, and, and I got really excited about it. You know, it was, was going to look so nice on my resume and stuff like that. But the first thing we had to go through was actually a competition, right? We had to, we had all the interns had to compete and we had to make this thing called a PLSS or a P-L-S-S, -S, um, which means primary life support system, which is the little backpack that um, astronauts wear on their backs. And, okay, I get to start it with it, you know, I had, I kind of had a handicap because everybody got to go there and take pictures of what they looked like, you know, um, <clears throat> so that they could, they could model them. And I didn't because I'm not an American citizen and I was not allowed to be on, on NASA grounds. So I was doing an internship, but I wasn't allowed to like touch <laughs> anything, go there or whatever. But at least I was able to still do the internship. So the, 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 the competition begins and I'm here just modeling this thing, right? At this point, Substance Painter um, had, had just come out and I didn't, I think it hadn't even come out yet actually, it was about to. And I was trying to mo model and texture it with Moto and like weird projections and things like that. In fact, the whole internship took place in Moto and I didn't even know Moto, so I had to learn it on top of everything else. I ended up using Moto for many years <laughs> after that, which is like a, just a 3D modeling software. Uh, and um, I put together this model that I thought was really freaking good. And I was just starting out, so what did I know, right? But I thought it was really good. So the day comes for you to turn in your project. So we all go there. Um, it was at some other place. It wasn't on NASA property or whatever. And the guy, all the interns would wait in one room, and the guy would come get you, and he would give you a private um, feedback session, basically. I mean, just, just criticism, whatever. So uh, we go in a random order, and I'm second to last. So every, I'm, I'm waiting in this room full of anxiety, thinking that I did good, but still anxious. 
and the guy comes get me. Until until the, he comes get me, everybody that was getting feedback came back with a big smile on their face, and they're like, "He loved it. He loved it. Everything's good. Like he loves it. Yay!" And so um, I'm like, "Okay, at least he's going easy on people or whatever. Like you know, yay, hooray!" Or maybe I was also thinking like, "Everybody's gonna do better than me because they all got compliments." Anyway, my turn comes around, and. I go in there feeling feeling okay, you know, anxious but good. And he turns and he looks at it and he's like, I don't even know what to tell you, so I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This is the worst one yet. <laughs> and I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, like, I can't use this. You're not even in the running. And I'm like, okay, but why? <laughs> and he goes, it's not my job to tell you what what's wrong with it and how to fix it and i'm like i'm like just holding back tears right i was i was maybe like 18 years old 19 let's say 19 years old i was 19 years old holding back my little baby tears right just trying but i but you could kind of tell by my voice that i was trying to not to cry and <clears throat> um there's this lady there and she's like you know what like i'll get you some info on how you can improve it's okay <laughs> And, um, how, how do I, how do I, um, how did the story go? And so he goes just like, the CVs are shit. The topology, shit. Um, the, I don't know, the, everything is shit, basically, was his, his way of, of communicating. So, I go back to the, like, the, the part where he said I wasn't even in the running was, like, real, real fucking hard for me. To hear, I'm gonna be honest. Um, and and this was at the time where the ego, like the, my ego, was at its most freshest. You know, like I hadn't learned to put that aside yet for the work. So it was all very, very, very personal almost for me. I was like, shit, I'm worthless. You know, I I go um, I go back into the room with all the interns, and all the interns are smiling and laughing, and um, all of the interns are smiling and laughing, and they go, Anna, how was yours? And I'm like, good, really good. Mm-hmm, you liked it. <laughs> I didn't want to tell them that, like, it got, it got, like, torn apart, you know. So... I, I go home, I, like, I, I actually I immediately take out a note, notebook and I write down as, far, as much as I could. Uh, I'm gonna ban you because you are being rude. Um, so, what else? Um, I write down in my notebook absolutely everything that I could remember that he said. So it was like, this is shit, this is shit, this is shit. And I go home and I, I, I remember I, I go to my, up to my boyfriend at the time and I go, I need a huge burger and I need to cry. So we go to this restaurant that they had in Texas called Whataburger. I buy a gigantic like triple burger and then I just sit there in public eating it and like crying in my fucking eyes face off just crying and crying and crying then i finish my burger i wipe my tears and i'm like let's go we go home and i i just work all weekend long like he gave us an extension he was like you guys have until monday to apply the feedback which is like useless feedback you know uh but anyway um and I worked so fucking hard that weekend. I remember the the second album from AWOL Nation had just come out, and I literally, literally listened to it back to back on loop the whole weekend. Whenever I hear any songs from that album to this day, I only think of that weekend where I like crunched and did so much work on my piece. By the end of the weekends, my piece was like unrecognizable, <laughs> in a good way. Like I figured out, like I learned a lot. Like I literally, I literally had. He told me my UVs were shit. And, you know, my education wasn't the best. I didn't go to the best school. And I literally go and I'm like, I don't know what a UV is supposed to look like. <laughs> I'm like, shit, I don't even know that, you know. So I'm like trying to figure it out, you know. Um, as I go and I, I make a lot of changes. I basically go back to the beginning. It had taken me like three weeks to um, 
it had taken me like three weeks to make the whole model and I was able to like almost completely redo it in the weekend. And then comes Monday, we all submit it for the final judgment, so to speak. And then I have go to sleep for the first time that weekend because I was a college student and that's what we do, I guess. Then when I wake up at like 6 p.m. or something, um, <laughs> good cry is healthy, but a good burger is better. <laughs> um, so I I wake up and I see an email from uh, the school's director and it was like, congratulations on winning the... Um, the competition and I was like what no way so I'm like double checking I'm like Anna Carolina first place no wait maybe I'm reading it wrong Anna Carolina first place and I just remember being like in bed like just oh my god I won um and of course, you know, there was like a whole bunch of drama with me winning, but I was just, I'll never forget like the, the feeling of, the feeling of winning that day. True testament that hard work does pay off. The instructor says it's not his job to be constructive feedback. What school is this? No, no, not the instructor, the, the boss from the internship, the person who like hired us for the internship. Motivated by spite, nothing stronger. Oh my God, spite? Spite drove me for like the first four years of my career. <laughs> I was unstoppable, and now, and I, now I'm too love and light. So I'm like, uh, everything will be okay, you know. got distracted from my work and everything here. Uh, but yeah, that's the story of how I won a competition in first place for NASA, which is kind of neat to have on my resume. Or at least it was for a while. I'm gonna go ahead and do like the world's tiniest little poly paints, I think. Color, fill objects. I just want to kind of block out where I'm going to have the dark fur go. I think it will help me visualize a bit better. Oh, this is the mo model of, it's called the Gugway. It's a cryptid, it's a wolf-like ape. Glad you didn't give up, love the story, but a smile on my face, thank you Joseph. Is it hard to find, is it hard to find as a 3D artist? Or is it the same? You mean is it hard to find a job, or is it to find a 3D artist? Thank you so much for sharing that, I feel better now. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, everybody who likes the story. Did NASA show you the aliens after you won? <laughs> Are you gonna add fur to this model? If I have time, but I'm honestly, I'm, I'm moving a little slow today. I had the worst failure when I was working at NASA, too. Glad you got to turn it around. <laughs> Were you on the, the 3D modeling team, too? I wish I heard that story earlier on. The amount of times I almost gave up. Your story is very inspiring. Thank you. Nothing could make me give up. In fact, anything that makes me want to give up just makes me want to work harder. You know, like, um, I, I've been told by, like, bullies. I, I got bullied a little bit in college. Um, and honestly, I think I made a lot of enemies in college. I rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. <laughs> I could tell you some stories, but um, one guy told me that if I can't take feedback, then 
I should give up on the industry or something like that. By the way, this guy is, is still working in QA to this day. It's been like seven years or something. Um, and I was like, oh, baby, I'm going to show you what I'm about. Oh, a little, a little. I, I think it's because I'm an Aries. <laughs> a little bit of hate in my heart goes a long way. <laughs> Just a little bit. Can I see your reference? Um, yeah. But I don't like showing my reference because um, normally I don't have the artists who made it. I just googled this at the beginning. Got little baboon. Baboon ape. Gugway. This sounds really freaking cool. It's like, um, what is it? A gelada's monkey inspired, I think. This sounds creepy just from the from the render. Oh, I forgot one. It's gorgeous. Reminds me of Skyrim, you know? You can be a god teacher. <laughs> Preach sister. Can you also draw pretty well? I drew every day for 20 years and I've gotten a lot of compliments. I can't say objectively though. <laughs> a job as a 3D artist. I really want to study it, but now I feel insecure for not finding a job. Okay. <clears throat> that is a very common insecurity in our fields. I'm going to be honest because, okay, it's not that there aren't jobs. It's just that it's highly competitive. There's a lot of people competing for the same jobs. But is it impossible? Not, not at all. Not whatsoever. Okay. So, um, I, ha I have very strong views on this, and some people might find them, like, slightly unhelpful. But, you know, um, when you, you, you have to, f you have to follow, follow your hearts, follow your joy, right? A lot of us get caught in this practicality versus versus joy thinking, right? We're like, oh, I, I want to be able to get a job right out of college or something, and um, therefore I'm not going to go for, for concept art or whatever. I'm just going to do engineering, whatever, you know? And that's fine. And depending on your priorities and your background, that's a totally valid way to think. It's just that I wish we had more compassion for people who don't make that choice for people who go for the slightly maybe slightly bumpier path that leads to greater joy down the line right I, i'm a full believer that like if you do something that brings you happiness um it's going to be easier to be successful at it because you'll keep pushing when times get rough you'll always be wanting to learn you'll be you know dedicated your little things. I'm gonna turn on snake hook. I, I'm gonna do it wrong the first time around, and then I'm gonna skip this note until the restart. I'm gonna turn on Accu curve, which makes it pointy like this, and then I'm just kind of gonna make a few points for the hair. Kind of hard to do, but it's a pretty practical method. You can always fix the shape later. <laughs>
Obsidian Standard, a little move brush, trying to not make it make it look more flowy if possible. <laughs> Spikes on the side. Little spike on the back, because why not? Okay, we'll do more with the hair later. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna turn symmetry back on. <sighs> you should learn to take criticism as an artist, but actual criticism, not your model sucks. That's that's the difference between Criticism and constructive criticism, right? Constructive, I teach my students this all the time. Remind them at least once a semester what cri cri constructive criticism is. That's the color of the eyes, I think. Oh, that's crazy. I'm an Aries too. Is that why? I don't know. I, I, are you superstitious? Do you like horoscopes? <laughs> Depends. <laughs> Um, it put me off sculpting humans for 10 years. Come on, don't be silly. There's a religion Greeks and humans. <laughs> um, Dream Demise, I okay. Mandrills are literally the only type of large primates I vibe with, and gorillas. Is there any course you can recommend to be a great artist, or do you have one? So I don't have a course, but I do have a mentorship, which is like a personalized course with me. Specifically for your goals and needs. So whatever like we, you want, so we go through your portfolio on the first day. We kind of see what, what the weaknesses are. We talk about, you know, like your history, what you need, and then we go from there. It's like really neat. I like my mentorship very much. I love doing it. So I'm like really close to being banned off of TikTok for adding nipples to my pieces, but I just think they give it such pizzazz. <laughs> I really wish the world could handle nipples. Anna's back. It's me, and I'm back. Oh, also, my personal Twitch channel is back tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow at 5 p.m. Central Time. I'm doing a zebra stream on my own channel. It's going to be fun. It's going to be really neat. And then we're going to launch a new TikTok series while we're there. All right. Um, and all sorts of other cool stuff. So, guys, the new overlay I made is so cute. Okay, I'm going to show it to you. Okay, real sneak peek. Tiny little sneak peek. You ready? How cute! My camera is not working, but look at how cute it is! Ah. I probably just broke... Oh no, I didn't break my current one. What graphic tablet are you using? Right now I'm using a Wacom Intuos Pro. I was in the same boat this time last year. Just start as a junior artist in January. You'll get there. It just takes time. Work on your skills. Seek out feedback and apply, apply, apply. 
I think finding somewhere you really want to work and trying to build a relationship with their hiring people helps, even if it's just failing applications. They will recognize your name next time and hopefully how much better your portfolio is improving. Hi, Same. How are you doing? Hi, Alperin. Glad to see you too. What is her real channel? So, Anna Carolina Arts is my real channel. I forgot to put my branding in the new overlay for ZBrush, so... Uh, here's my Discord channel that you guys can join. Uh, it's an awesome free server where a bunch of like-minded, like, really nice people that make 3D arts, pros and beginners and everybody in between. Um, we hang out, we do all of our challenges there. Whenever I start giving away Wacom tablets, it's going to be through there and the Twitch channel at the same time. So you want to join, for sure. Uh, if you want to join my workshop, which is a sculpting workshop every Wednesday, um, the current month is Paleo Art, and there's still time to join before the second workshop happens. Um, all workshops are recorded, and it's actually really freaking neat. The link is right there. I also have one-on-one -on -one mentorships. If you'd like to know more about that, please feel free to message me on whatever social media you prefer. Um, basically, I will work with you on your goals, strengths, and weaknesses to get you to level up your career to the next level. What happened with TikTok? I'm about to start a TikTok channel and I know nothing about it. What was it that they didn't like about what you did? I don't want to make the mistake. Don't do naked bodies or boobs or nipples and you'll be good. That's what I did that they didn't like. So, Also, be very cautious um, to not offend um, any group of people. That was also a mistake I made on accident. On total accident. If I told you guys the story, I think you would know... That it's a little bit out there, you know. But... <laughs> I got to really add some mass back here. Take off some mass, add some mass. starting to come together, right? I think so. Let's go to the, to the eyes real fast. I love giving the eyes some personality. Divide, divide, divide. I'm gonna do red eyes. The way I like to do them is I like to take the paintbrush and I like to make the material. Then find toy plastic. The plastic type plastic type plastic. Then I like to just color that in. This creates a really good base for, for painting your eyes and it has nice shininess. Then I'm gonna go back to my normal material and there it is. Um then I'm going to go back to the RGB and paint the whole thing a dark grey. I like to start, when I'm painting eyes, I like to start with the darkest colors and move my way up because it creates this really nice, um, uh, it just makes it look full of life and light. Starting to put in the color. Leaving some gray in the middle and some gray on the edges. And going up little by little. Focusing mostly the color on a lower crescent like this. Every time you go lighter, you make a smaller shape. And I create a nice gradient. How easy that is. We're, we're almost done already. Maybe a little bit of a very bright kind of pop. Tiny brush. Then pitch black for the actual people.
and a little bit of pitch black around the sides. And a little bit of maybe some yellowy gray right here to kind of create some Mm, too much. <sighs> then maybe I'm gonna go and make it a little bit brighter. And also I'm going to rotate them towards each other just by a tiny bit. Make it a little brighter by going to poly paints. Just colors. Contrast, we can turn that up a little. That's too much. Again, contrast, turn it down. Normally I focus lighter colors in the center of the face, but I'm getting called to go for like a Siamese look. Let's see how that looks. Have a great stream. Thank you, Cervantes. If you're sculpting your reptilian eyes, would you use the same process with the slit instead of around play pill? Yes. Normally, this is just for speed sculpts. If I'm doing a real eye for like a game ready character or something, I'll do a completely other method. I have a tutorial on it. Uh, I have a, both a eye tutorial here on the Pixelogic YouTube, and I have a dragon tutorial on the NVIDIA YouTube that goes over the slit making process. Mais um contato, olá! Angry orange for the hair. Mm, could work. I want to make a game. Do you know anything about that? Yeah, I'm a game developer, VR developer. I have made multiple games, um, normally on small teams or on my own. But I, I think it's too much to go into, uh, like just, just like that. You know, like it's, it's a entire industry and process. You know. But make sure you scope. Scope is number one, number one killer of games, <laughs> bad management and scope. So make sure you know how much you can get done and you don't, uh, you know, keep adding new things and stuff. if I gave him like black around the mouth like a dog that doesn't help do anything <laughs> this is a slightly um, grinchy thing to him but now we're just gonna refine
Sorry, I missed a bunch of chats. Unreal, yes, Unreal is my main software. I'm really the render so far, really charismatic character. Thank you, Yusuf. Thank you, Heisnun. It's been going through your work on Instagram. It's amazing work. Thank you. You also use Substance for texturing? I do, indeed. That's my main texturing platform. Should we have a tooth? <laughs> Should we have a tooth? Should we have a tooth? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, perhaps coming out of the mouth, but I don't know. I don't know. It, uh, it could be too cute. I don't know. Spiral brush is what I need. This is not the spiral brush, it's the spiral brush. I Oh yeah. What I'm talking about. <laughs> I need to mask this ear. <laughs> I think we, I think after some finagling, we've been able to kind of marry the concept with itself. You know what I mean? Like, we we went from like purely gorilla to mandrill to a little wolfy now. So I'm kind of not sad. What do you stream other software packages as well? Yes, I do, Cakester, but only in my personal channel. Do you think gaming will ever incorporate a multi UDM UV workflow? I think so. I mean, you can do it in Unreal, but you have to use a workaround. Substance Painter easily allows it. Like, I think it's definitely moving that way. <sighs> if you're using new ZBrush, is there any difference in the workflow between old and new? Not at all, actually. Everything stays the same, they just add new features. So some sometimes new old things get easier to do, but you can still do them in the exact same way you always did, you know? Let's Animesh up are actually fleshing out the face or I like detailing before I finish. Kind of doing some crisscross axes here because I want the skin to feel like it's bunching up right there. Too much smoothing. 
How did my smoothing get reset? I should save. <laughs> Just realized I haven't hit quick save like since the beginning of the stream. Alva Alivarani, I'm good. How are you? Is it the person channel for members only or is it public? It's totally public. Ana, como está o mercado de trabalho com arte 3D aqui em USA? Qual conselho você pode dar para um brasileiro que está iniciando na área agora? O mercado de trabalho 3D é, vai bombar em breve, porque tá todo mundo fazendo avatares e tal, para o metaverse e coisa assim. É, então vai ter muita demanda, mas assim, sempre tem muita competição também, então você tem que se destacar. Mas assim, eu acho que é uma boa hora para começar, na verdade. Eu acho que eu, eu, eu tô tendo muito optimi otimismo. Recentemente. Nunca não tive otimismo, mas recentemente. Eição total. Ótima oportunidade pra se destacar, ótima oportunidade pra começar. I, I like to make him look like he, he doesn't want trouble right now, but he you'll get it if you don't stop whatever it is that you're doing, you know? And he's just like, this is a huge freaking inconvenience for me, but I will eat you if I have to. So don't make me. <laughs> do, do you feel like I'm conveying that expression? Thank you, Mindsai. What is the name of your personal character? So this is Gugway. It's not a personal character. It's um, it's a mythological, folkloric kind of cryptid character. I want to go to school for this industry, but don't know where to start. I do what I can with what I learned from YouTube on my own. Do you have any recommendations as to when should begin? It sounds like you've already begun. I wouldn't discount what you've already done as a beginning, you know what I mean? But begin by remembering that no school can do miracles. You need to be the one who chases after your education, right? You can't rely 100% on just somebody telling you what to do. You need to be on top of your research, skills, and things like that. But school has a lot of benefits. I just don't like it when people rely on it 100%. It's not a good idea, in my opinion. So have that in mind. Remember that you're going to have to push yourself. You're going to have to, you know, look out for yourself and all this other stuff. No matter what, where you go. Um...
Qual o nome do seu canal, pessoal? Eu não achei na busca. Ana Carolina Arte. Eu vou postar. Here come my links again. I wasn't feeling this model at first, so he's looking cool first and cool now. Thank you. I mean, like, that's how it is every time, though. Like, all models kind of start kind of ugly. At least mine do. The design, really. We, we were able to kind of get it somewhere. <laughs> there is a design now, so to speak. Tendo tive o mesmo sentimento em relação ao momento do metaverso. Metaverso. Do you export straight from ZBrush to Substance to Unreal, or do you rig? Um, so, no, I, I use Maya to retop and stuff. I definitely don't get a don't make me vibe. <laughs> I'm new to modeling in ZBrush. I was wondering if you have 100 must do when you, new to ZBrush. Well, 100 must do is a lot, right? It's like, um, I say start small, learn how to navigate this, learn how to save, learn how to use the five most common brushes, and you are good to start. Felix is a screecher spoke, he sound like Gerald from The Witcher. He go like, hmm. Yeah. I like I watched one time uh this compilation of like Gerald saying uh hmm in The Witcher. <laughs> like the the show one. But the Witcher game is actually my favorite game. I feel like if the screecher spoke he sound like okay, I did that one. A bit angrier, be kind of make it a bit angrier. I would love to share my work with you and see what you think. So um, I'm not taking crits right now, just because I'm too busy and I, I feel like a crit needs to be really really carefully done and really in depth. Um, but I, I do plan on having a critique stream where I do a bunch of people soon, so follow me on Twitch. Or if you'd like one-on-one -on -one help from me and, and feedback, you can join my mentorship as well. Put the link in there one more time. Look like you belong in the world of witchcraft. Warcraft. <laughs> oh. That cough came out of nowhere. Which tablet to use? Wacom Intuos Pro. Do you remember hard surface modeling in ZBrush? I don't do it myself, but it looks really freaking cool and nice. And I would wish I could take some time to learn it. But right now it's not working. For me. <laughs> not working. I mean, like, my brain. Not working for me right now. So Our station link is not working. Oh my gosh. I wonder why. Oh, it works for me. I click it. Okay, what's next? Breaking some symmetry now. I mean, I haven't done anything to the chest, which could be... Like, it could be like a good time to do that, but... I don't know.
Carl from Up. Don't bother me right now, please. <laughs> Do you think about specializing in sculpting dragons and dinosaurs could be a good career choice? Mm. Uh, I see people do it all the time, right? If you could be like a paleo artist um, and expand a little bit into like all prehistoric reconstructions, I think you would be good. There are plenty, plenty of specialists in the field. There's a guy working on, I think it's like Warner Brother Games or something, and he only does cute hot ladies. He makes a good living as far as I know, you know? I'm probably just going to cut most of that off anyway. I'm not going to worry about it right now. <laughs> so I'm going to go save. I'm going to probably make a new layer and start working asymmetrically now. Actually, probably gonna die much higher. I think it's gonna yell at me for layers. Yeah, okay, let's bait the layer. <laughs> well, that's creepy. I need to stop recording before I bake. That helps. <laughs> Following the protocol helps people. We're going through a classic, let's just pretend he has a top eyelid scenario. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. <laughs> hey, Young, you're here. Welcome. How do you unwrap a UV? So, Hafa, that's a whole huge, gigantic, enormous question. Like, I could make an entire course on that. So, I'm not going to answer it right now because I can't 
do it without demonstrating, you know? Unless you mean like in ZBrush automatically. This program to render ZBrush slopes just nearly stick 3D. Uh, uh, real time, maybe Marmoset or um, Marmoset or Unreal, not real time, Key Shots, Arnold's. I want to do creature design and then sculpt reptiles and dragons. Get really good at them, similar to Eric with insights. You can do that. Like, you can literally do anything you want. That's the thing, like... Follow the path that calls to you. You can do anything you want. It might not be perfect all the time, but it will pay off in the long run. I think so. As long as you believe in it. Don't give up. Don't compromise. Made up eyebrow anatomy going on there. We're just gonna work with it. Music. This one. I can find it. Bye, Hasnan. Thank you for watching. How can you merge layers with character? Um, merge layers, you can just bake layers. Layers? Bake all. And that will merge all the layers. Are you using fiber mesh or fur? No, I'm just gonna leave it for like this. I'm glad you like the eyes. Hey, so you're watching people with sculpts makes me want to sculpt anyone else have that? <laughs> I I sometimes get that. I'm already kind of planning out the, the best position for render. Like this. 
with a little bit of a neck pose, maybe? Maybe if you're feeling a little fancy? <sighs> Watching people scope? Alright then. Oh, my neck, guys. I used to do yoga every day and it used to feel so good, and now I haven't done it in months, and I feel like I've aged 15 years. <laughs> But when I sculpt, it's not even close to the level of the people I watch, and then I'm like, oh. <laughs> um, well, you just gotta keep practicing, you know how it is. We all started there. Nobody started good. Well, can't say that for everybody, but... I mean, I started perfect, but... Joking. Guys, I'm gonna share my links with you again. Make sure to follow me on social media to keep up to date with my latest artwork, free content, tutorials, and things like that. Join my Discord if you'd like to be in a gigantic, really fun community of 3D artists, from pros to beginners to super pros, um, where you can share your work, show it off, give feedback, receive feedback, participate in our challenges and giveaways, and things like that. I'm about to start streaming on my personal channel for the first time in 2022 tomorrow. So make sure to come by at 5 p.m. Central Time because I'm also going to be making some announcements and starting a new TikTok series. And if you'd like to work directly with me or take my workshop or have me take a look at your goals, your career, um, you know, your portfolio, your strengths and weaknesses, what you need to do to improve and put you on the right path, join my mentorship. All right. Link is in chat. What else? Yes, that's it. That's it, just those 15 links. My system doesn't support 5 million poly count. Oh no. Oh, well, yeah, I don't know what to do for that. It depends on the software. ZBrush is easier to, to open more polygons than others. Um, my left is called my issues through Topo. <laughs> my kitty's here, he's snapping. I just joined. Yay, DVM. Good job. Okay, so let's pose him and then start the render. And then we can just fix some stuff up in the render, I think. We're fine. So I'm gonna add a new layer. Oh, I might actually need to um, zero mesh to pose. We're gonna see if I can pull this off. <laughs> We're not gonna pull this off. That's good. That's good. I just wanted to give it a little like... <laughs> I nailed it! <laughs> oh, I love this so much. I could, I could turn him into like a fur rug like this on the floor. He looks mid- now he looks proper mad. Start yoga again on Monday. No excuses. Don't just come to no, no. He's howling. Amazing. That's me, but when I skin my models. Okay, let's undo that. Take two. Take two. We can do this. like this but you know uh, the neck is majorly messed up so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to zero mesh and then project so some of you had asked me at the beginning of the stream how to do this so we're gonna do it <laughs> okay so bake all layers I'm going to duplicate the body and then I'm going to solo it out for a second I'm gonna zero mesh it so zero mesh And do that. Take a drink. Yeah. 
Match. <laughs> Take a little stretch while that's doing that. Okay, so it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but I don't need it to be. I'm not going to sculpt on it, I'm just rotating it, right? So I don't mind. So I'm going to go ahead and hide the eyes, and I'm going to project, and that's going to project the detail from this one to this one. So project, 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 all. Yes, I do want poly paint. And little by little, I'm going to go up. I'm going to go up like maybe four subdivisions, and I'm going to go back to the second highest, and I'm going to project. Go up one, project. You want to go up one at a time. You might think it's easier to go to the highest subdivision. It's going to make some messes. So you really need this to be little by little. Then let's see how they look compared to each other. So I'm going to turn both off, and I'm going to switch between the two. And it's like, look, indistinguishable. The only difference is this: this one has subdivisions now. And that's ZBrush magic! Okay, let's take two. So I'm going to go to the lowest subdivision now, and this will actually help not destroy the neck as I try to pose this character. We're going to do the whole process again. Beep, beep, beep. Off the net mask. I'm, I'm kinda, it's kind of creeping up a little. And then I'm going to take my thing. I mean, it's like, like that's literally all I wanted. And then look at the difference. I don't even know how I want to render this. Like, he's he's pretty. I I don't know. Like, I kind of like this character. I would keep this character and like work on its backstory, you know, and stuff like that. <sighs> Might join the Discord. Well, go ahead and join. If you don't like it, you can unjoin. You know, like just take the plunge. <laughs> Você pode me explicar como funcionam os layers? Um... Oh, no, it did work. Never mind. I know what I'm talking about, Cakester. Um... Layers. So, how, como funcionam layers? Basicamente, ele funciona que nem no, no Photoshop. E cada, cada coisa que você fizer dentro de um layer vai ficar gravado no layer. Então, eu vou uh, botar um layer a mais. Tem que entender colocar uma, um rostinho feliz aqui. E o bom é que não é destrutivo. Então, se eu me arrepender, eu posso voltar aqui e simplesmente desligar ou deletar o layer e desaparece. Tudo que eu fizer, tudo que eu fizer, desaparece do layer. Não é incrível? Também dá para diminuir a intensidade, que é muito útil, por exemplo, para quando você está fazendo detalhação da, do rosto e tal. Ou você pode até inverter e, e virar do avesso. Você pode usar vários layers e meio que criar um processo não destrutivo. Eu gosto de fazer pose no layer, que eu esqueci de fazer agora, mas... Faz. Eu gosto de fazer pose no layer, eu gosto de fazer detalhes no layer, e qualquer coisa que o designer não tem certeza, tipo, imagina que eu quero fazer um chifre nele, puxado. Eu não quero fazer pra sempre, eu quero só ver se fica bom. Eu boto num layer, desligo o layer, ligo o layer, e é o que sabe. I'm gonna angle the camera down, looking up at him a little bit, so that... Um... I'm gonna turn perspective down. Draw. Beep, beep. Beep. So that it looks like he's bigger. So if you angle the camera underneath your character, it gives the impression that they're bigger. If you point the camera down at your character, it makes them look smaller. Just simulates the perspective of somebody would have. I think I'm just gonna go for a simple this way. I'm gonna go ahead and frame it however I want to. Z plug in, Z brush to Photoshop, send. I go over the all the teeny teeny details of how to render stuff in my workshop, so feel free to join that if you'd like to go the step by step. I don't even know it works because you can't do that with layers, so I'm gonna fake all the layers. Plug in, send to Photoshop. There we go. <laughs> Drew, Drew Mill, hello. Hamza, thank you. 
That's a great tip. Thank you. No, uh, no worries. Every time you speak Portuguese, I try to translate it without knowing anything. <laughs> How much experience do you have in 3D? So I did it in college and then se about seven years of experience professionally. Camera being pointed up towards the character makes them look powerful. So actually, I ended up not making my camera that pointy. I, like I, I just went back and forth. I don't know. I accidentally forgot. It's okay. Whenever it's done rendering, we can just start again. Angle it like this a little bit, and then we have both options. And to ZBrush, but the shop. Camera being pointed up towards them. Published in English. Thank you, ATP Moves. Okay, we have, oh, that's the old one. <laughs> the new one is still coming in. Still coming in. And then I'm gonna see which one I like the best and then we can render that. How did you pose the character in ZBrush? So if you go back, I think you can go back live. If not, wait until the end of the stream and you'll see exactly how I did it. It was like two minutes ago. Okay, the second render failed. It has chosen for us. I'm just going to do this one. So, oh, you guys can't see it. Photoshop, let me fix that. Boom. There we have Photoshop. We can start doing some crazy stuff. Grab my layers, make them bigger. Not need to be that big. So I got preview. <laughs> we got albedo mode. Then we got best, and then we have BPR. So I gotta choose if I like BPR more or best more. I like BPR more, so I'm gonna use that as my base. Then I can kind of like scroll through all the different lighting scenarios that ZBrush spat out for me. That one's nice. Oh, my leg has fallen asleep in this process. Sorry, guys. Yeah, now we're doing a little render. Thank you, Sagbag. I'm gonna check the structure. We're gonna check the normal, check depth. Polygroup ID, there's only one polygroup. Subtool ID, there's only really one subtool, so for the eyes. Got some spec in case it wants to look greasy. Ambient occlusion, shadow, and subsurface. So the first thing I always do is shadow. I go to filter, blur. You guys are gonna see me do Gaussian blur, Gaussian. I don't know, blur like literally 40 million times today. So get ready. Gaussian blur that a little bit. Turn down subsurface scattering intensity. I'm gonna not make the background black. You wanna avoid having a pitch black background or a pitch white. I guess. I always say, like, I don't know if there's a, such a thing as a pitch white, but it seems like a good counterpoint to pitch black. Bleep. Got a little bit of pixelation going around the edges, so I'm going to go back to... Oops. Brush. I might have lost my opportunity to get a render done for this. Let me see. I don't know if it's going to work out. My computer's not good at making new folders. Like, <laughs> it can do anything except for making you a freaking folder.
Okay, that works. Hooray! I'm just gonna grab this black and white alpha. Close this. We don't need to save them. Come in here, paste it in. Ah, shoot, it did move. God. Rip. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna worry about that later. Is this new zero bush to Photoshop? No, it's been there for a long, long time. So I like to turn on the front light, but make it really weak just to help bring it out, out from the background. Thank you, Cakester. And maybe a little bit of rim light. You guys know I like some rim light in my life. This the difference with light, right? It helps a lot. But I like to cheat with the rim light. I like to duplicate the layer, maybe like control L to make it more dibby stabby. <laughs> Then throw on a mask, paint that black, and then manually paint on where I want the light to go. Oh, that's not a good brush for this though. Then maybe a little control U to change the color a little. Colorize. Maybe I'll throw a little. I, I haven't decided about the lighting situations on this piece. Call it blue. Blue is a safe color. Low saturation blue. E. Make sure that the opacity is down. We don't want too much. For the AO, I'm going to duplicate that and play around with the color as well and maybe consider putting it in the red just to fake blood flow. Although the blue looks good too. Oops. <laughs> I like the blue just as like an effect. Let's see what else I want to do. I'm going to fix the mask situation by doing something really cheeky that I don't necessarily recommend. But if you ever lose the mask, just select it with a little magic selector. Go to select, modify, contract by one pixel, invert. Paint it with black on the outside. I think that will fix it. Yeah, it will. How does your workshop uh, uh, work? Not, not that I'm interested. Wow. Basically, at the, every month we go through a, a, a kind of a, a topic, theme, and piece together. We start a piece at the beginning of the month from scratch. We finish it at the end of the month, making it portfolio ready. And all of the steps in between are going over in the workshop. It's like, like a classroom classroom um, environment. And uh, it happens every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Central Time. It's a lot more educational than these streams are. Um, it's, it's, it can be a little intense. It's really nice, though. I think a little bit more spec on the eye could be nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw some spec on there with the black mask. And 
and do a little something, something with the background. Sometimes I just grab the background and literally do like a little halo effect and be good enough to kind of make it less boring. Maybe I can change the color, start thinking about like the environment this thing is in. So like if it lives in the jungle, it can be green or it can be teal. Teal highlights the, the red nicely. No, I haven't nailed it yet. I'm gonna go ahead and start faking some stuff. I like to grab a light color from the actual model itself and just kind of throw it around in some highlight points. Where's the edges? And you'll see what I'm doing in a sec. Then I like to go into filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And kind of like blur it out and it kind of creates like a, almost like a light bouncing off effect. I like it. I think it helps them pop. How can we get the ZBrush to Photoshop Z script? It comes with the ZBrush automatically. Hold on, that's so cool that you worked along. Can't wait to see it. Assim, curso de ZBrush, só a mentoria por enquanto, curso não. Yeah, this looks like a good thank you, Cakester. I'm glad you like him. I'm gonna put all this in a folder. And then I'm gonna kind of like mask the folder further to kind of hide the stuff. I'm just gonna paint in some black right here. I'm gonna take the depth. I can find it. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that and multiply it over the top so that it gives a little bit of darkness to the um, farther away areas. It does make the glow crazy. The glow needs to be applied at the end. I just got ahead of myself. I'm gonna turn the glow off now. For now. So I'm done. Might move that underneath the lights. There we go. Oh, yeah. Much better. Let's see what else I can do that's fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's creepy. <laughs> uh, the way it blends into the black is crazy cool though, thank you. Oh 
como que faz pra entrar em contato sobre mentoria? Me manda uma mensagem no Discord? Ou é, em qualquer, outro, é, qualquer outra rede social e eu vou responder. We can't forget to put the, our name or logo on there. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Bleep. Right at the bottom of everything. Anna Carolina R. What else do we need to do? I'm gonna... I think I might add, add the glow back in. I'm trying to make a mask. I just think it's too strong around the shoulders. Oh, actually... We can, we can fix this. Get a little tighter. What now? Let me just do one last thing. I want to try um, a flat overlaying the albedo on top. See if like I get any more interesting variation and in, like intensity in the color. It's looking a little flat and a little boring. I don't know. Oh, this is cooler, right? Before and after. I have it kind of blown out right here, so maybe I can kind of also add a mask to this. Turn down the opacity my brush and just kind of like them off right there. Reduce the shadow amounts. Too strong. Maybe lower the opacity of the float on the shoulders. Uh, are you talking about the little light here? Maybe. I think you might not be wrong. You should render a cavity pass with the frame one material in ZBrush. What's that gonna do? It's gonna help? What's it gonna help with, I guess? I wonder if it's a good idea. It's a good idea. It's a So I, sometimes I like to come in here and make a new layer and just kind of paint on uh, over the eyes just a little bit to make it uh, the blacks more black and the whites more white. I'm gonna come in here with like Almost, or maybe on, almost 100%. And I'm just literally gonna reinforce the back of the pupil. And then pure whites for the little lights. And let's see. It just kind of helps make it even more interesting to look at. There's been a little mistake up here, but... I don't know how that shadow on the neck turned out so dark, though.
Zed, thank you. Alright, Zephyrus, I've never done what you're asking. You render out a cavity pass with the frame one material in ZBrush, so how do we do that? So, Oh, and I've already, I've already accidentally moved the mesh, so I can't render new things. Hey, a new subscriber, hello! Ape creature, it's called the Gugway. Mm, it's pretty good in black and white, too. Shoot. Nice. I don't like that. Then we lose the beautiful eyes, right? Maybe if I added a mask to this. The problem that I'm going through is that I'm trying to paint with the eraser. Motivational speaker vibes. He was a motivational speaker. She sculpted an amazing mojo dojo in the style. <laughs> Missing any steps. Yeah. From now on, I'm just going to be like finagling stuff. So it's a perfect time to wrap up. I hope you guys all enjoyed the stream. I'm going to share my uh, social medias one more time. So the first set of links is my social medias. I got TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, ArtStation, um, and my Twitch channel. I'm starting to stream on my Twitch channel again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Central. It's going to be a zebra stream, and it's going to be fun and ed educational. I'm going to do some announcements there, and also... Um, how do I put it? <laughs> uh, start a new TikTok series, right? Because I've been doing cryptids and I had an idea for a new series, so I'm gonna be having two now and see how that goes. And also, uh, I'm partnered with Wacom now, so I'll be giving away Wacom tablets, the good stuff, okay, on my Twitch channel. So make sure you go there and stay tuned to when the giveaways and, and challenges and competitions and stuff happen, all right. Then I have my new YouTube for YouTube tutorials. I'm posting the link now. And basically I have four tutorials so far. I plan on putting more up as soon as I possibly can. And they're really short and to the point, so you might like them. Then I have my Discord server. The link has just now been posted. Where uh, hundreds of 3D artists hang out. It's a great place to network. It's a great place to get tips and tricks on your work, uh, share ideas. Uh, give people feedback, receive feedback, and uh, a lot of the giveaways and stuff are run through there. So like they're going to be on the stream, but also that's how you participate is through the Discord. So you got to do that. Um, if you'd like to work with me uh, in my workshop where I teach um, 3D sculpting from beginning to end every month, every Wednesday. So basically f f four or five Wednesdays per month is the full workshop package. Uh, it's very educational. It's an online classroom kind of style thing. You can join that. I just posted the link in chat. And also, I have one-on-one -on -one mentorship. So if you need somebody to help you um, chase your goals, if you're feeling demotivated, undisciplined, or just lost, you need somebody to kind of point you in the right direction, work through your strengths and weaknesses, um, give you accountability, uh, help with your career, help with your network, you know, even introduce you to people and help you get freelance jobs and things like that. Join my mentorship and we will do that. All right, the link is there. 
Thank you everybody so much for joining. Uh, make sure to follow the Pixelogic channel on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook if you haven't already because it is awesome and there are uh, dozens of amazing, very talented artists that all stream here. Alright? Hope you guys have a lovely rest of your weekends and I'm gonna head out! If you have any questions about anything or the mentorship and workshop programs before you buy them, feel free to send me a DM on Instagram, Twitter, whatever you want, okay? Discord being Discord and Instagram being the, the best too. 